Hello everybody and welcome to English Grammar with Omeya sir. It's revision time and the topic for today is transitive and intransitive verbs. This is the one topic that actually confuses a lot of students and I have no doubt that after this video most of your doubts would be solved. Now we are going to verify whether you really understood or not uh, by attempting an exercise that shall follow. So let's dive into the topic and find our answers as to what are transitive and intransitive verbs. It is perfectly okay if you have uh, your notepad for jotting down important things. Let's start with the basic difference here. What is the difference, the transitive and the intransitive? Let's first consider transitive verbs. Transitive verbs demand an object. What do I mean by that? The verb answers the questions what, who or whom. We get the answers to these questions. What, who or whom. It's important you remember these three questions, okay? It's not just what. What, who or whom. Let's consider an example. Please bring tea. Now the action here is bring. Now imagine you just stop at please bring. Please bring. Please bring what? Tea. So therefore bring is a transitive verb. It demands an object. And here please bring tea completes the sense. Talking about intransitive, the intransitive verbs do not require an object. Let's consider an example. The dog ran. Now you, want, you don't want to ask dog ran, ran what? The dog ran. It took itself. <laughs> the dog ran. Complete sense. You don't need an object after ran. It's very clear. So such verbs are intransitive. You might want to pause on this screen if you are going to make your notes. So just remember the basic difference is that transitive demands an object, answers the questions what, who, whom. And as far as the intransitive verbs are concerned, they do not require any particular object. It, it's clear without the object. Okay. Let's proceed then with some examples of the transitive and uh, intransitive verbs. First, the transitive verbs. Consider this as an example. Okay, The girls carry water to their village. The girls carry, carry what? Water to their village. So carry the verb here is transitive. It demands an object. The girls carry. The girls carry what? You need that. You need that. Is it not? Next one. Rohit threw the ball. Rohit threw what? The ball. So now, again, I am sure that by studying these examples, the concept is getting clearer. Let's consider the third example. She loves rainbows. Ooh, she loves rainbows. Now, she loves, loves what? Uh, boy, sorry if you were expecting your name there, but she loves rainbows. So, she loves, it's not very clear, rainbows make makes it clear. Okay, So she loves rainbows. Consider the next example. Could you phone the neighbors? Could you phone who? The neighbors. Remember those three questions I was talking about? I believe now these examples should make it uh, abundantly clear. That these are examples of transitive verbs. You need an object. Otherwise it doesn't make sense or complete sense at least. I'm sure you're getting that. Let's proceed. You can pause the video if you want to make notes. Let's now talk about intransitive verbs. What are the examples of intransitive verbs? First one, they jumped. Is it not clear? They jumped. You don't want to ask what after that. They, they jumped. That's it. Okay. They jumped. She sang. She sang. Ooh. And uh, she sang a song is ridiculous. Song can be sung, right? So she sang is very clear by itself. She sang. That's it. It's brilliant. Okay. Run. This is a great example. Okay. Run. Just the one word. Run. I repeat. It's just one word. And uh, well, this is incredible to understand. I've selected good examples here. Just one word and it's intransitive. It doesn't need an object. Run. It's very clear what to do. Imagine you are with your friend in a jungle area and you see a wild animal approaching. You tell your friend, run. Your friend cannot then ask you, run what? You probably want to ask him, should I, should I kill you before that kills you? <laughs> so 
It's very clear. One word, but it's very clear. It's intransitive. Run. That's it. One word there. Let's talk about some more examples. Um, a, a light was shining. Uh, in, the, in the image, you have lights. But a light was shining is my example. Shining what? <laughs> you don't need that. A light was shining. That's it. So these are examples of intransitive verbs. They do not need an object. Transitive verbs, they need an object. Now I have a question. We have just seen the distinction between transitive and the intransitive verbs. Okay. Can it happen that there could be some verbs who could function as transitive and intransitive both depending on the situation? The answer is yes. There are words in English that depending on the situation, they can act as transitive or as intransitive verbs. There are such verbs and that's exactly what we are going to study next. Okay, Let's take a look at some verbs that can act in both capacities. Consider this one. The first verb we will talk about is left. The transitive use could be he left the gift on the table. So he left, he left what? The gift on the table. Then it makes sense. But how can this same verb left be used in an intransitive way? After he cleaned up, he left. Now you don't want to ask he left what? He took himself. <laughs> After he cleaned up, he took himself. That's it. He left. That's intransitive. Look at the second uh, example, sang. She sang the national anthem. Sang what? The national anthem. The next one, urged by the others, she sang. So there was a request made, she sang. Now, their sang is just the intransitive like we saw in the example on the previous slide. You remember? She sang. So this is an important one. I'll make it full screen. Uh, you can pause at this time if you want to make a note of this example. It's very important you make a note of these things, okay? So in English, there are verbs that act in both capacities. Let's continue further. Now your exercise starts. State whether the verbs in the following sentences are transitive or intransitive. First one, let's invite your friends to the party. So invite is the verb. You have to segregate them, classify them as transitive or intransitive. Second one, our team lost the match. Third one, please sit down. What do you think the verb sit is? Is it intransitive or transitive? I could not sleep well last night. But this is totally imaginary. <laughs> I could not sleep well last night. Okay, I always sleep soundly. Next one. He hid the money under the bed. Oh, that's not uh, ideal location. But yeah, good example. He hid the money. Hid is the past tense of hide, of course. So what do you think hid is? Transitive or intransitive? Next one, I rang the doorbell six times. Now, I only can imagine why I would do that, ringing the bell a dozen of times, half a dozen times. Anyway, something that I don't imagine myself doing. When the bell rang, the students rushed out of the classrooms. Sure, the happiness of the school let out. <laughs> I can't start the car. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Some of the things here are totally fictitious. Sare ghatna patra kathai kalpanik hai. I can't start the car is unreal. I can't draw. I can't dance is based on reality. I can't start a car is fictitious. Let's continue with the examples. I can't start the car. The wind was blowing fiercely. Ooh, ooh. And the last one. It rained heavily. See there, the couple struggling on the bike. It rained heavily. So now you have 10 questions. And uh, now uh, I am sure that you probably want to go back in the video if you want to pause for 1 to 5. And then on this screen, you have examples from 6 to 10. Only when you are ready with the answers should you resume the video. Because now I am about to show you the answers. Always be honest with such things, okay? Fine then. I'm assuming that you did everything honestly. Here are the answers. There you go. Let's invite your friends to the party. Invite who? Right? Your friends. Our team lost what? The match. Therefore, transitive. 
Please sit down. Intransitive. Doesn't need an object. I could not sleep well last night. Intransitive. Sleep what? You didn't ever ask that. He hid the money. He hid what? Money. Transitive. I rang. I rang what? The doorbell. Transitive. When the bell rang, when the bell rang what? No. Itself. You don't need an object. Intransitive. I can't start. Start what? Transitive. The wind was blowing. You don't need what? So intransitive. It rained heavily. Rained. Of course, you're talking about rainfall. So no further object required. It's intransitive, of course. Now, thank you so much for watching and please let me know your score. Guys, once again, before I conclude, I would like to remind you that we have created a separate playlist for this. It's called revision. Make sure that you watch all the videos. You will get topic-wise quick revision of the topics that bother you. Okay. Please leave your answers in the comments or your usual method. The email thing is there mentioned here. Somewhere here. So please do that. We will meet again soon. Hopefully now you don't have any doubt about transitive and intransitive verbs. We will meet again soon. Take care.